What's up Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel and finally Mets baseball is here opening day vlog. Let's go baby. I was originally going to be going to opening day in DC that got canceled because of COVID as we know. So the first opening day game was in Philly and I was definitely in attendance and boy was it something so much fun. Expect me to be vlogging plenty this season on numerous games including Wednesday's game for the series finale against the Phillies too and next week as well. Plenty of games to attend as well. So a lot of things to be excited about and even though this game wasn't necessarily in the Mets favor in the end it was still so much fun i had so much fun vlogging and breaking everything down throughout the game so i hope you guys do enjoy this one something different here on the channel and i hope you guys enjoy my recap at the end as well which got a little heated so stay tuned guys but thank you so much in advance if you enjoy this kind of mets content and want to see more great mets content like this make sure to smash that like and subscribe button share this video with your friends follow the notification bell all those great things thank you all so much for the cattle support mets fans now let's get right into this vlog Way too long to see Mets baseball. Finally, it's happening again. It's been a year and a half since the last time we got to see them live, at least for me. So this is definitely going to be a great experience. Three up, three down for Matt Moore to start things off in his Phillies career after being away the past year in Japan. And strong start for him, not a strong start for the Mets. So Lindor strikes out in three pitches. And yeah, that's how things get rolling here in the first for the New York Mets. McCutcheon leads off. Now the 2-2 to McCutcheon on the way. Swung out and missed strike. There we go, strikeout number one of the season for Jacob DeGrom, baby. Let's go. Hoskins racing for third. The relay throw to third. They may get him, and Hoskins is out. Woo! 
Vasquez goes for the triple and it is a no-go. Beautiful throw from the outfield and that what just like that, that's two away here. And now the bomb of the first. Yes! Let's go, man. There we go. DeGrom's second strikeout of the day is on Real Muto, and that ends it for the first. Let's go, baby. Jacob DeGrom at the plate for the first time in over a year. And more sets. The pitch. Oh, baby, yeah! Let's go! The pitch. Oh, oh, oh you hate to see it. Mets first opportunity with Warriors in scoring position tonight. Base is loaded, two outs for Michael Conforto, and he of course grounds out. So, you know, we're going to see that plenty this season. Hopefully not too much more in today, tonight's game, but I guess we'll find out. Let's go, baby. Yeah! All right, you love to see it, guys. All right, J.D. Davis, Pete Alonzo, two guys on, no outs here, now in the top of the fourth. See this man? This is what happens when you eat chickies and beans. All right, McCann's out of the plate for his second out of the day. Runners on the corners, one out. This is going to be an RBI, either a sack or a single. I'm calling it right now. To get the Mets on the board. And he lines one in the left field, a base hit him. Here we go. Yeah, yeah let's go! Let's go, baby! What did I say? James McCann saying, let's go, baby! one nothing Mets here in the top of the fourth. Woo! Taking an infield hit his first time up. Ron loops one shallow left, and that's going to fall for a base hit. Yeah! Let's go! Jacob DeGrom, single, two for two on the day. Zach Wheeler, who? That's all I got to say. It's 2 nothing Mets here in the top of the fourth. Oh, baby, you love to see it. Base is still loaded. Let's go! Oh, there we go, baby. Big me, Pete with himself a single. Two guys on now, himself and Conforto. First and second. Here with one out in the top of the fifth. Let's go. All right, Lindor is 0 for 3 on the day. At bat number 4 here. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Rosario Jimenez. I, I think Cleveland won that trade. I don't know about you. Oh. Michael Conforto, extend him. Extend him. Extend him. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Michael. Love to see it. Single for Michael. All right, guys, we're in the seventh. There's currently two outs. Conforto just singled. That big me, Pete, is up at the plate. Remember 2019, how much he dominated relievers? Let's see if he does it again here. Trevor May is on the mound for his first appearance as a New York Met. Let's go Fortnite boy, let's go Twitch boy, let's get it done baby. Alright, so May now has given up two guys on here, a walk to McCutcheon, only one out here in the bomb in the eighth. And yeah, now they're facing, it looks like it's going to be Reese Hoskins, so big at bat for sure for Hoskins and an even bigger pitch here coming from Trevor May. Hopefully he can get out of this jam. Harper. Base is loaded for Bryce Harper. Scores. Here comes Harper. Straight up, not having a good 
shot. Every single pitch Aaron Loop has thrown has turned into a run for the Phillies. You can't make this shit up. You literally cannot make this up, guys. Wow. Jose Alvarado is going to try to close it out. Base hits by Pilar and Lindor have set the stage for Conforto. Game in the top of the ninth. Lines one to right, sinking fast. Harper coming on. Can't Conforto with the RBI single. It's only a two-run game here in the bottom of the ninth. This is getting really close here, and here I thought the game would be over, and it's still going for now, and now Big Me Pete is at the plate. Let's see what happens. Up. Out to right field. Harper's going back toward the scoreboard. He's got room, and he... Damn, that one sucks, not gonna lie. That one really hurt a little bit because of the fact that it's opening day. My first opening day, I was supposed to go in DC a couple days ago. It didn't happen because of COVID, so the first opening day is in Philly. I'm like, I'm going, we're definitely going. And it was a great experience, don't get me wrong, but for the Mets to lose on opening day when they are historically by far the best team in the MLB in opening day was a little bit of a shocker. I get the bats were slow early, but the lineup was really confusing to me. I'm gonna give a quick ripe here, a quick shot at Louis Rojas, the manager, because he had Kevin Pilar lean off and Kevin Pilar I get it ready on lefty action with Matt Moore who played in Japan the past year and before that really hasn't been the best pitcher in baseball to put it lightly the southpaw and he with Pilar Pilar goes one for five in the game he does save a run in the outfield uh, Reese Hoskins trying to push a third for the triple so that was great and he also did get a hit in the night to try to get a rally going with two outs that was solid but outside of that you don't have Brandon Nimmo lean off when he's been leading off for the majority of spring even against lefties at times and Pilar going into that game I believe was one for 11 against Matt Moore in his career so i don't understand the matchup there i don't think ready on lefty and lefty on lefty made too much of a difference nemo still had a very strong game gained walks and a hit or two and then you look at dom smith not even gained one at bat not even a pinch hit at bat when this guy was arguably the best player for the mets outside jacob de grom and some others michael conforto too in the short 2020 season how does he not even get one at bat in opening day that's ridiculous to me i don't care about the matchup he was definitely deserving of it so that was frustrating and so jacob de grom only throwing 77 pitches is done in six innings again when they brought in Castro I was like you know what I'm not against Castro coming in but I am against bringing Jacob out already only after six innings I thought that one more inning would have made more sense to him I get he was on 10 days rest but still it could have been a drastic difference when you look at things in hindsight if Castro was in the eighth then maybe the whole bullpen implosion with Trevor May and Aaron Loop would have never happened they had rough innings for their first innings at the New York Mets look it happens not really going to hold it against them but then a defensive error at third by Luis Giorme coming in as a defensive replacement drilling to get James McKinney can to get a guy out and it goes right past James McCann's head it was not a good throw whatsoever he's had a couple errors between his first game there as a defensive replacement and his last game as a third baseman in spring he had an error two there too a throwing and a defensive one so it's very mind-boggling for a wizard like him to not be looking strong on third right now even though yes I know it's not his natural position but all in all a frustrating game for the Mets Lindor gets his first hit that's great Jacob deGrom did literally everything and that's the problem you can't have him gain all the hits and all the strikeouts you know you need that balance you need the offense behind him even even for opening day it definitely was frustrating it is definitely one of those that i wish could have been different but it will be different going forward hopefully this series definitely picks up i will be streaming for the tuesday game at the time of recording this around 6 p.m eastern time so stay tuned for that mets fans if you want to follow on the stream and i'll also be vlogging for the series finale game so that vlog should be out sometime on thursday i hope you guys are looking forward to that i know i am expect more great vlogs as always so if you guys enjoyed this kind of mets content no less and want to see more great mets content like this make sure to smash that like and subscribe button share this video with your friends follow the notification bell all those great things let me know all your thoughts and comments below about the season starting about this heartbreak of a loss but if there is one thing i will say the mets out of the 20 or something losses that they have had on opening day they did lose on opening day in the seasons of 1969 and 1986 so you know what take that as you will so that's it for today mets fans thank you all so much and i'll talk to you soon